What happens when two great minds enter into an epic battle to enlighten each other? Each of us has something in mind to teach the other person. We're not just going to state it up front, and we're not going to take turns. Philosophy versus Improv is a show where anything can happen. You might hear talking. When you have kids, they're born with kids, and those kids are born with kids. You might hear more talking. You know, SpongeBob, I want to say, is his boss in the little burger stand just grouchy? But is he evil? You might hear pauses between people talking. Is the death of improv thinking too hard, pausing too long? But this is not just a talk show. Your hosts, Mark Linsenmeyer of the Partially Examined Life Philosophy Podcast. Downloaded 40 million times. And Bill Arnett of the Chicago Improv Studio. I'm the author of the book, The Complete Improviser. Have things to teach you about life. Who is death bad for? If I disappear, there's no one there to be harmed anymore. Creativity. Ruining a bad idea is easy. Humor. Yeah, trying to construct an actual joke, that's not worth anybody's effort. Being present. We are in the moment, hearing our words for the first time. We are reacting to them and living in the reality that they create. Presenting yourself. I am not a duck. I am my own creature. And much more. How do you read people's minds? My answer is you're reading people's minds all the time. The pen is mightier than the hand ripping the heart unaided by a sword out of a chest. A fascist Nazi vampire shoe salesman in a world of fascist Nazi vampires is just a shoe salesman. Subscribe wherever fine podcasts are distributed and learn more at philosophyimprov.com. I think it's a great idea. Bankrupt.